Okay, so we have a new front desk girl here and we are gonna be doing some tattoo removal. This is a cover up, it's really dark. Um, she's gonna need at least four, three or four sessions to lighten that up enough to get it where a tattoo artist can um, cover it with something that won't look so dark. Um, as far as um, healing goes, you're definitely gonna blister. It's just dense, dark ink, um, so expect that. Um, the blisters can even be the size of the tattoo. Um, so, you know, just be warned that they can be that size. Um, just let them drain by themselves. Um, lay the skin back down to the, to the, your, the, the when it, basically when it drains, you wanna just lay the skin back down, put the Hydro Bomb back over it and keep it covered um, while you sleep or anything like that. But if you're sitting at home doing nothing, just you wanna let it get air at the same time. Um, yeah, so let's get started. I'm gonna do one pulse so you know what it feels like. Okay, let me know if you need a break. Doing okay? Yep. And then I'm gonna do the outside edges at a slower hurt so I won't touch the other half too.
So I'm going to be applying some Hydro Bomb. And as you can see, it's already, the frosting is kind of fading a little bit. And you'll notice it's going to look really red, almost like a whole bunch of broken capillaries. The main thing with healing with her or with anybody is um, aftercare. The most important part, not only having a good technician, is aftercare. Um, you want to make sure that any of the blisters, blisters and scabs stay in contact with the skin. If they get ripped off the skin, picked off the skin, rubbed off the skin, that's what can cause scarring. So you want to be really diligent about keeping it bandaged when it should be. Um, and also letting it air out when you have free time. Um, and if a space this big, um, expect to have some soreness and be able to go home and elevate your arm a little bit, okay? And there you can see the frosting fading. I'm gonna bandage it up like this. It's the only bandages you can get now. Do a lift up for me. There we go, perfect. And you can leave this bandage on up to 24 hours. Okay. And then um, you don't have to. If you have free time just to let it, you know, air out tonight, that's fine. But um, don't leave it on more than 24 hours. Okay, okay. Okay. All right, and there's a first tattoo removal session. How was it? Uh, it was fine. <laughs> <laughs>